Insects are the largest class of living creatures on planet Earth. Their distribution ranges from the polar regions to the tropics. Today, more than 800,000 species are currently known throughout the world. Insects are classified into species, genera, subfamilies, families, and orders. Among the existing orders, some of them can be pointed out. The Hemoptera order, which includes the ants and bees. The Diptera order, which includes the flies and mosquitoes. The Coleoptera order, which includes various beetles. The Orthoptera order, which includes the grasshoppers. The Platodea order, which includes the cockroaches. The Hemoptera order, which includes the true bugs. The Hemoptera order is comprised of families with different feeding habits, such as the insects of the Coridae family that feed on the sap of plants and are therefore herbivores. The Regivigi family comprises of subfamilies with various feeding habits. Some feed on the hemolith of other insects and are therefore predators. While those of the subfamily triatamine feed on blood during all stages of their development and are classified as bloodsuckers. Given that they feed mainly on blood, insects of the subfamily triatamine have particular epidemiological significance. When their principal source of food is mammals infected with Trypanosoma cruzi, the etiological agent of Chagas disease. Vector transmission occurs when infective forms of Trypanosoma cruzi are eliminated in the urine or feces of these bloodsuckers and come into contact with broken skin or the mucous membranes of the eyes, nose, or mouth of mammals. The triatamines were first described by the Swedish entomologist Charles Duguier in 1773 from the Indies, which in the 18th century was an extensive region that also covered what we would now call Southeast Asia. The description of this species was probably based on observations of insects native to present-day Indonesia. This species, formerly designated Cimex rubriofasciatus, is today known as Triatoma rubriofasciata. There are differing theories regarding the geographical origin of this species of triatomine. Some people think that the insect was carried in the holds of ships via the sea routes that opened up in the 16th century. And was transferred from the Americas to the other three continents, where it is commonly found today feeding on the blood of rodents. Others believe that triatamines already existed outside the Americas in certain parts of Asia. Most triatamines are widely distributed throughout the Americas, from the northern Great Lakes to the southern tip of South America. However, they also occur in other continents, in coastal regions of Africa, and in the Middle East, Southeast Asia, and Western Pacific. The insects are found in a variety of ecosystems, such as the Atlantic rainforest, 
tropical rainforest, deciduous forest, scrubby woodland, scrub and swamp plains, the Andean valleys, steppes, savanna, and mountains. They occur in a very wide range of ecotypes, such as rocky outcrops, bird nests, the hollows in trees or tree bark, palm trees, inside caves, and in peridomestic and domestic settings. This flexibility regarding choice of ecotopes means a greater variety of potential food sources in the form of local fauna. There are many species. The size of the adult insects varies according to genus. The smallest specimens can measure between 5 and 10 millimeters. For example, Bimenius corridori, which is approximately 10 millimeters long. The largest, Dipetalogaster maxima, which can measure up to 44 millimeters. The species of triatomines that are medically significant in terms of transmitting Chagas disease belong to the genera Triatoma, Panstrongulus, and Rodneus. They are distinguished by where the antenna are attached to the insect. In the Americas, from the epidemiological standpoint, the most important species for the transmission of Trypanosoma cruzi are those with the ability to invade and colonize human dwellings. They include Rodneus prolixus, the principal vector in Central America and some South American countries. In 2008, the area occupied by this vector was reduced after an initiative launched by Central American countries to control the species. Other important species are Triatoma demitiata, Rhonius palensis, and Rhonius ecuadoriensis. In Brazil, the most widespread species are Triatoma brasiliensis, Triatoma pseudomaculata, and Panstrongulus magistus, which is widespread not only in Brazil, but in other South American countries also. The same happens with Triatoma sordida. the species Triatoma infestans. Until 1991, it had a widespread geographical distribution, which was reduced following the intergovernmental initiative of the Southern Cone countries to control this species of bug. At that time, Triatoma infestans was considered the principal vector for transmission of Trypanosoma cruzi in the Americas. Epidemiologically, Although Asia has certain species that are capable of transmitting Trypanosoma cruzi, the etiological agent of Chagas disease, no species to date has been found to be infected. The majority of species are found in natural settings. The most important are Triatoma rubrofasciata, Triatoma cavernicula, Lyscostius carnifix, and Lyscostius carupus. 
Special attention should be paid to Triatoma rubria fasciata, which has frequently been found in peridomestic settings in southern India in the state of Tamil Nadu and was recently reported in the center of Bangkok, Thailand. But it is in Vietnam where the principal cases of domestic infestation by this vector have been detected. Triatamines are called by a number of non-scientific names according to their morphology and behavior. These names vary between regions and countries. In the United States, they are known as kissing bugs. In Mexico, as pick, a Mayan term. But there are other designations, such as chinchi pesucona, chinchi valadora, chinchi pecuda, or simply chinchi. This latter designation is also used in Central America, the Caribbean, and northern parts of South America. In addition, in some of these countries, triatamines are given other names. Chipo or Chinchi del Monte in Venezuela, Pito in Colombia, Chinchoro in Ecuador, Chiramacha in Chinchoro in Peru. In Brazil, the names vary by region. The insect is variously known as Procoto, Picudo, Chupão, Pioia de Piaçaba, and Barbero, the last name being the most common. In Paraguay, the insects are known by the names Chincha or Chincha Guazu. In other South American countries, they are more commonly known as Vinchucas. The insect is also known by various names in Asian countries, such as Vietnam, where it is called Bozit Hut Mao, meaning insect that sucks blood. The discovery that triatamines are the etiological agent of Chagas disease was made in Brazil in the early years of the 20th century. In 1907, Oswaldo Cruz, the director of the Oswaldo Cruz Institute, commissioned the Brazilian scientist Carlos Chagas to control an epidemic of malaria transmitted by the Anopheles mosquito, which was disrupting the construction of a railway line in the small town of São Gonçalo das Tabocas in the state of Minas Gerais. When the railway station was built, the town was renamed La Sanse. Working and sleeping in a railway carriage, Carlos Chagas coordinated the malaria control and collected specimens of local fauna. At the same time, he scoured the region, inspired by his growing interest in entomology and protozoology. During a trek in 1908, an engineer working on the construction of the railway drew Chagas' attention to the existence of a blood-sucking insect occurring in large numbers on the walls of the mud houses of the local population. The insect was active at night and fed on the blood of local residents and their domestic animals. When Chagas examined the insect's intestines, under the microscope, he found protozoa. As there were no laboratory facilities in Lasansi, to investigate the insects in more detail, Chagas sent some specimens to the Oswaldo Cruz Institute. Oswaldo Cruz fed the insects with the blood of laboratory monkeys. About one month later, on examining the blood of a monkey that had fallen sick, he found trypanosomes. Oswaldo Cruz immediately informed Chagas of his discovery and asked him to return to the Institute. 
Chagas then realized that the protozoan was a new species and named it Trypanosoma cruzi in honor of his mentor and friend. In April 1909, Chagas found the same protozoan in the blood of a girl from La Sanse and announced the discovery of a new disease. The researcher, Arthur Neva, investigated the insect further, verifying that it was the species Cornerinus magistus, later renamed as Panstrangulus magistus. From 1909 onwards, with the help of colleagues at the Oswaldo Cruz Institute, Chagas carried out internationally groundbreaking research in this field. He studied the habits of the insect vector, the biology of Trypanosoma cruzi, its life cycle in infected host organisms, and the clinical signs of the disease, which is also known as American Trypanosomiasis. Chagas disease is one of the neglected tropical diseases, a set of endemic diseases that particularly affect poorer communities in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. Chagas disease is one of the most significant, together with dengue, schistosomiasis, leishmaniasis, and helminthiasis diseases. It is estimated that more than 10 million people are currently infected with Trypanosoma cruzi throughout the world, mostly in Latin America, where Chagas disease is endemic. More than 25 million people are at risk of contracting the disease. To adopt new preventive measures against the disease, it is necessary to know details about the morphology of triatomines, its feeding habits, and reproductive process in addition to where they live. Morphologically, adult triatomines have a head, thorax, and abdomen. The principal sensory organs are located in the head, a pair of compound eyes, a pair of simple eyes, a pair of four segmented antennae, and a three segmented rostrum or proboscis. the last segment of which is articulated. The appendages for locomotion are located in the thorax, three pairs of legs, and two pairs of wings. The abdomen is comprised of 11 segments. Two of them, the eighth and ninth, are modified to form the genitalia in adult insects, the end of the abdomen is rounded in males and pointed in females. The internal morphology is characterized by piercing, sucking mouth parts. of a pair of mandibles, at the extremities of which are denticles for grasping 
and puncturing the skin of the host. And a pair of maxilla. Each maxilla contains two small channels that merge into the feeding tube and the salivary canal. The maxilla slide across one another longitudinally. Secreting saliva, allowing blood, the food, to enter. The two channels formed by the junction of the maxilla pass internally through the rostrum and divide in such a way that the salivary canal connects to the salivary pump, which in turn is connected to the salivary producing glands. The feeding tube joins the digestive apparatus via the muscular pharynx, the function of which is to suck up food. The rest of the digestive apparatus consists of the esophagus, the stomach, the intestine, and four malpighian tubules, which form the excretion system together with the rectal pads and rectum. The life cycle of triatomines consists of the egg phase, five nymph stages, and the adult phase. Before copulation, the male is attracted to pheromones secreted by the females. Depending on the species, Copulation may last between 5 and 45 minutes. After 10 to 30 days, the females begin to lay eggs. The number of eggs depends on the species and, more crucially, on the quantity of blood ingested. A triatomine female can lay between 100 and 350 eggs throughout her lifetime. Different species lay their eggs in different places.
The eggs can be placed anywhere in the environment. What is the case of the species of the genus Ponstrongulus and most species of the genus Triatoma? Whereas species of the genus Rodneus attach their eggs firmly to palm leaves or on the feathers of birds. The species Ponstrongulus magistus is found in forested ecosystems, but often invade human dwellings following the destruction of its habitat. In its natural setting, these triatomines lay their eggs in the burrows of small mammals, such as opossums. The species Triatoma infestans, which is principally found in domestic settings, lays its eggs within grooves of the walls in mud houses. and in piles of personal effects, such as clothes, or behind furniture and picture frames. Egg laying also occurs in hen houses, dovequats, as well as sheds for cows, goats, and sheep, pig styes, and places where dogs, cats, and other domestic animals sleep. In forest settings, triatoma infestans is found in the hollows of trees, bromeliads, and clefts in rocks. In forest settings, the species Rodneus prolixus can be found in birds' nests and palm trees. This is why it is dangerous to roof houses with palm leaves, since the insect's eggs are attached to the leaves. In forest settings, Rodneus brathesi attaches its eggs to the fibers of a palm tree called piasaba. The eggs are enclosed by a shell called the corian, comprising the main body and the operculum. As the embryo develops, the eggs acquire a pinkish color. The hatching time depends on the species, the ambient temperature, and humidity. But between 10 and 40 days, the first stage nymphs hatch. species Triatoma infestans. Regardless of species, the nymphs are pink and darken in color as the cuticle hardens. The nymphs shed their exoskeleton on each metamorphosis, during which they undergo physiological and morphological changes that adds new structures until they enter the adult phase.
The life cycle of triatamines is fairly long and can last from six months to two years, depending on the species. An adult can live for slightly longer than one year. Feeding starts when the triatamine locates a source of blood using the sensory hairs on its antennae, which can detect heat, humidity, odors, flavors, textures, and movement in the air. On approaching the food source, the sensory hairs on the antennae detects the blood vessels. When found, the insect deflects its rostrum. Immediately after that, it begins to salivate. The stylets inside the mouthpiece pierce the skin of the host. In this picture, the saliva was marked with a fluorescent dye and can be seen in the area explored by the triatomines. Saliva is essential to the act of feeding because it stops the blood from clotting and anesthetizes the site of the bite, thereby ensuring that the host does not detect the insect. The mandibles remain attached to the outermost layer of the skin and the maxilla penetrate to the dermis in search of a blood vessel. In this exploratory phase, the triatomines agitate their maxilla in the dermis. Once the maxilla have pierced the vessel, the left maxilla retracts and the right maxilla remains in place. This allows the blood to flow into the feeding tube. During feeding, triatamines can become infected with the parasite Trypanosoma cruzi. Inside the digestive system, the parasite adheres to the paramicrovillar membrane of intestinal cells to reproduce and develop into its infective form. Inside the triatamine, the parasite is carried to new hosts, humans, or other mammals, which it can infect when excreted in the feces and urine of the triatamine, turning the triatamine into a vector of disease. Thank mm -hmm. you.